Israel offers aid after devastating earthquake hits, Iran says no. A devastating earthquake rocked the border region between Iran and Iraq on Sunday, one that measured a 7.3 magnitude on the Richter scale. According to the Jerusalem Post, an estimated 500 people perished in the quake, and at least 7,500 suffered injuries. Perhaps surprisingly to some, the nation of Israel offered up its full support and medical assistance to the victims of the quake on Tuesday. That announcement came directly from Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu during a live queue and a session. You can see the relevant portion right here. Now, I just saw the pictures of the destruction in Iran and Iraq following this week's earthquake, and I saw these heartbreaking images of men and women and children buried under the rubble, stated Netanyahu. So I'm proud to announce that a few hours ago, I directed that we offer the Red Cross medical assistance for the Iraqi and Iranian victims of this disaster. Now, you heard me right, he continued to a round of applause. I've said many times that we have no quarrel with the people of Iran. Our quarrel is only with the tyrannical regime that holds them hostage and threatens our destruction. But our humanity is greater than their hatred, he added, in what can only be described as a mic drop moment. Surprising absolutely nobody, Iran promptly rejected Israel's offer of assistance, according to the Daily Wire. It is worth noting that Israel, much like the United States, is often on the forefront of the international community when it comes to offering aid and assistance to other nations in times of need. Among other efforts, Israel sent aid to New Orleans after it was struck by Hurricane Katrina in 2005 and provided medical assistance to the Philippines in 2009 after it was hit by Typhoon Parma. Israel also sent first responders to Haiti in 2010 to help aid the victims of that earthquake and was the first to send medical aid to Japan in 2011 after they were struck by a tsunami. In 2012 and beyond, Israeli doctors have received and treated victims of the Syrian civil war raging across their own border, and even reportedly traveled to the not-so-friendly region of the Syrian-Turkish border to provide assistance to victims in need. Israel has always shown itself to be a compassionate and generous nation, despite what anti-Semites in the media and around the globe may say. Conversely, Iran's leaders are so consumed by their own anti-Semitism that they would reject much-needed aid for their own people, simply because it came from Israel. That should tell you just about all you need to know about those two countries, countries, 